My role is a customer service advocate, so I take inbound calls from customers and most of the time there's like an issue or a concern that they're calling in with. So the most important thing about my role is that I'm able to resolve the issue. I am on the phones the entire day, so as soon as I get in, I log in and start taking calls, which entails talking to customers, researching their issues, and a lot of educating. Well, when I first get in, I open up, I have about 10 to 15 systems. You have two computer screens and you have to work to navigate through all of them. It's a busy time, so you want to make sure that you're ready to go as soon as the first call comes through. This job, it's a little bit different because you don't have anything tangible to go home with or you don't see the finished product, but the way I measure my success is my ability to resolve issues. Well, as a new hire, I'm not sure I knew what to expect. It was very overwhelming. You're just learning and learning and learning, but they do give you so much support here. As a new hire, I was very nervous. It's hard. I thought it would be like, oh, here's one system, this is the customer's concern, this is the explanation, and that's it. I didn't realize I'd be navigating through 10 to 15 systems, have two computer screens. It's a lot more than people think it is. My initial experience was nervousness. And once I got into the role and got into training, it, it was comfortable. The education that we were given and the training we were given prepared us for our role. We have a really, really supportive environment at Cigna. Something that I think is different from most jobs that you go to is that everyone wants to see you succeed. So if you need any extra help, your managers will work with you. So as long as you stick with it and you're committed, you will be successful. I think the culture here at Cigna is teamwork. If you are not understanding a call, you can always reach out to somebody. You can always reach out to a manager. Somebody is always there to help. I always feel like I'm part of a family and the support that we have is just incredible. It's definitely a, a community type of environment here. It's diverse, it's very laid back. You know you have a job to do. You know that you have metrics that you have to reach, but it's not pressure packed to the point that you feel uncomfortable coming to work every day. You feel that you could come in, do your job, and have the support there you know, for you to prosper and, and do well in your role. Customer centricity is just going above and beyond for our customers. You know, every phone call is like a brand new phone call. So when they call in, I want to make sure all of their issues are resolved in that first phone call. My manager is very involved in my career development. They do like a development action plan with you where they kind of help you get to where you want to be. So they are very involved and they're all pretty amazing. My manager is, is really great and really involved in my development. He lets me shadow him and sit in on meetings so I get to experience what his role entails and that helps me de develop my own skills. Um, to meet my goals. If you have a desire to progress and go forward, they give you the feedback on a daily basis. Well, the biggest challenges that we face are the ones that we can't necessarily resolve, and those are people who are calling in with a tough time, I and mean, we can't change the things that happen to certain customers. So for someone that has a chronic condition, those are the toughest times. Some days you have, you know, one really frustrated customer after the other, and that can be really challenging, but we have a really good support system here, and um, the coworkers that you have are really supportive and definitely understand what you're going through. The adherence part of it um, sometimes is tough for me just coming from an environment where most of the jobs that I worked were kind of my own schedule. Sometimes where you're in a position where you're helping that customer and realize, oh, my break is you know a couple minutes past, and you're just like, oh. but you know you want to take care of that customer first. I think a successful customer service advocate needs to be fully understanding. Um, they need to be 100% trustworthy. You need to put yourself in the customer's shoes every single call because you don't know what that customer has been through the past week or two weeks. And that's why they're calling in they're so frustrated. Not because they don't like Cigna or they don't like you, it's because maybe someone just passed away in their family or maybe they're dealing with something in their family at this moment. You have to be personable, friendly, a good communicator. You have to be really patient. Experience in customer service would be great. Experience in the healthcare industry would also be great, but I didn't have any experience and I, I learned all that, so it's not necessary. And just motivation and willingness to learn.
active listening skills is really good to have, especially being on the phone all the time. If you're like zeroing in on that customer when they're calling in, you're not gonna miss anything that they're saying and you're not making them repeat themselves so they get frustrated. And just making sure you're really understanding what they're calling about, because sometimes they are confused. You need to be able to flip through multiple screens, you know, checking multiple resources while you're giving verbal answers. You can't just sit there and not look at something while they're talking to you. You have to, you know, be checking. They finish talking, you already have their answer ready for them. When someone says a phone call makes their day, it's just, it's very empowering. That's my favorite part of the job. A lot of the issues and concerns that people call in are real and relatable and really scary at times. So it's nice to be able to comfort them and help them and guide them. You get somebody who calls in and they're, they're very frustrated. You hear it from the second they pick up the phone. You, you greet them with your greeting and they're upset and angry. And that, to me, that's the best part. And you get those people and you turn them around and they say, thank you, this was you know, so helpful. To me, bar none, that's, the, that's my favorite part of the job.